Do you know that there are things you can do that will make the Holy Spirit leave you? Just in case you're hearing that for the first time, I would like to let you know that yes, the Holy Spirit can leave a person. You might have come across this song that says, Cast me not away from your presence, O Lord. Take not your Holy Spirit away from me. That is not just a lyrics or a composed song. That is from the Bible. Yes, the Holy Spirit can leave a person. Now, let us come to what can make the Holy Spirit leave a person. What are these things that can make the Holy Spirit leave a person? That is what we're talking about in today's video. Before we get into that, welcome to my YouTube channel, Shine, Don't Just Be Fine. I am always excited because I love sharing these spiritual tips with you. These things are not just what you study, these are revelations. And sharing these revelations with you makes me very happy. Make sure you watch to the end of this video to get everything you need to get. It is true that sin is sin, no matter what it is, be it small or big, be it just telling a lie or something crazy, sin is sin. But I would like to let you know that the consequences are different. The result of killing a person is very really different from lying. So these are the consequences of sin and they vary. Not all consequences are the same. There are sins that can make the Holy Spirit leave you because light and darkness have nothing in common. When you choose to dwell in sin, when you choose to dwell in the dark, when you choose to die and commune with darkness, of course, the sweet Holy Spirit of God will leave you. Woe unto a man that the sweet Holy Spirit of God leaves. That is true. Woe unto that person that the Holy Spirit leaves. Now, let me share with you activities that can make the Holy Spirit leave a person. I will begin with the least to the biggest of it all. When I say the least, I'm not saying that that is like um, excusable. It's still same consequence. The Holy Spirit will still leave the person, okay? But what I mean is that I will just begin with the lesser one to the biggest of it all. So I would like to stay tuned and get all that you need to get in this video. The first I'm going to start with is hate. When you hate your neighbor for just no reason, that the holy spirit does not like don't forget i said your neighbor i'm not talking about your enemy the bible says you should love your enemy but it takes wisdom to love your enemy if you do not use wisdom to love your enemy you become a victim so i'm not talking about loving your enemy i'm talking about hating your neighbor when you hate your neighbor for just no reason this neighbor did nothing to you you just saw this neighbor and do not like this neighbor do not forget neighbor can be your sister can be your brother can be someone just around you close to can you can be said to be your neighbor so when you just hate this person for no single reason for nothing that can make the holy spirit leave you do not forget that one of the fruits of the spirit is love so when you hate for no reason you just see someone and totally hate the person can make the holy spirit leave you it is different if your spirit rejects a person probably that person is carrying an evil spirit or is into something that is really bad so that can make you not connect with the person that is totally different from hating the person hate is hate when you totally just do not like a person for no reason is hate so hating a person can make the sweet holy spirit of god leave you the next is blasphemy blasphemy up till today people still ask what does blasphemy mean because the bible talks about anyone who commits that against the holy spirit will never be forgiven this is totally different from Holy Spirit leaving a person. If the Holy Spirit leaves a person and a person becomes repentant of his or her sins, uh, when he prays, the Holy Spirit will come back, right? But that is totally different from Holy Spirit will not forgive a person. That is on the, that, in fact, that's a red alert. So the Holy Spirit will leave anyone who commits blasphemy what is blasphemy i would really love to talk about that but i don't really want to prolong this video this is why you should subscribe 
because I will be talking about this. What is that actual thing that a person will do and it is called blasphemy? I would really love to explain this but I'm going to leave it for another video. Click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you will be informed whenever I talk about this. It is going to be a very interesting talk and you will be very surprised on the things I will reveal to you. So click on that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so that you will be informed whenever I talk about this. Let us talk about lying against the Holy Spirit. Some people think it's fun. It's totally different when a person lies, just, um, just lie about something. But when you involve the Holy Spirit into your lie, like example, the Holy Spirit told me blah, 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 blah. Or the Holy Spirit said this to me, this, this, this. And the Holy Spirit never told you anything. You're lying against the Holy Spirit. Do not lie against the Holy Spirit. You have to control yourself not to that can make the holy spirit leave a person the holy spirit might not leave the person at the exact minute or seconds he or she said so but if this person continues unrepentantly if there's a word like that if this person continues without repentance the holy spirit will leave the person yes that's another reason why the holy spirit can leave a person like i said i will begin from the grade one to the grade 12. so now we are right there on repentant sin the bible says that shall we continue in sin because there's grace you cannot say because there's grace so now there's grace and we can just do anything we like no when you continue in sin unrepentantly the holy spirit will leave you the holy spirit will leave a person that enjoys sin and does not want to repent and this can make a person condemned when a person is condemned he or she just won their ticket to hell they have a free pass to hell. What can cause this? When a person sins unrepentantly, no remorse, no conscience anymore, the conscience is gone, that will definitely make the Holy Spirit leave a person. What does it mean to sin unrepentantly? Just as this word explains itself unrepentantly, this particular group of people, they think they are doing the right thing, they don't care, they do not care about the consequences of their act they do not care about what's going to happen they just they just love to sin unrepentantly unrepentantly just like judas yes they are condemned not just condemned the holy spirit is far away from them that's why i love this song so much cast me not away from your presence oh lord take not your holy spirit from me restore unto me the joy of my salvation and renew your spirit within me you can just sing along as you enjoy the presence of the sweet holy spirit of god so these are the activities that can make the holy spirit leave a person the holy spirit will never leave us in jesus name and will continue to be on the right lane will continue to do the right things by the help of the sweet holy spirit of god in the name of jesus amen so these are the things i wanted to share with you today thank you for being part of today's video do not forget shine don't just be fine